Hey guys, James here today and welcome back to another Sims 4 video. Today we're doing the build by overview for the Sims 4 Realm of Magic. This was made possible by EA Game Changers, which I got an early access code for. However, I'm still a little late to the party, but you know, here we are nonetheless. You know, changing direction and the vein of the video as we've been doing lately, I am pleasantly surprised with the build and buy in this pack. And I think, well, I mean, depending on whether you're not, you like the style or not, I think you will be too. So, I mean, well, having said that, I, I've not really put this down in a way that looks particularly attractive, but we can see everything we get here. Well, not everything here, but all the sort of uh, new doors and that. Actually, something I really like about the new doors. So we've actually got, uh, I think we've got five doors. So we've got, the, there's a big door in here that I've sort of hidden behind. I'll come around the other side, it's here. There's that door there. Then we've got this other, this other double door here. There's triple wide over this side. We've got this smaller double wide door and then a single door here. So we've got these five different ones. Now I've put them in a variety of different swatches. Obviously these come in all matching varieties too. So I believe uh, if we were to do the same sort of wood tones, there's a few uh, different options for a lot of these things. And I think it's actually really cool because we basically have a variety of stained glass windows or like doors and windows, the same for all the windows. And then we have an option of ones that have these really interesting sort of uh, patterns on them. And then there's also just like this sort of more, I guess that's getting a little bit more traditional, but then there's also the completely clear ones, which don't have anything in the doors or anything in the windows, which I actually really, really appreciate. And a lot of them come in plain whites and blacks as well, which is super useful. So it actually makes these doors way more versatile than they may appear at first. I think probably the most difficult one to use outside of, uh, I guess maybe a really stylized build is probably this door because of the frame it's got around it. But I think that's fine because uh, it's it's kind of the same sort of door as this one. It's slightly different, obviously, in the uh, the the window frames and all that in it. But I mean, considering when we get these other four doors that are much more standard and expected, I guess, from the style, having this more fun and unique one is kind of cool. Also, yeah, same with this door. You get the plain glass on it, but then there's also all the stained glass variants, which I really love the sort of stained glass designs on all of these. They look awesome. Like some of them are actually really fun. And I think they're going to lend themselves to some really cool cool builds, not just magical ones, but also just, you know, churches and chapels and anything really that will, or just like old houses that use stained glass windows. It's something that we don't really have a lot of, or do we even have really any? I mean, we have, don't we have like a little one that's kind of lame? Or maybe we don't even have any. No, because I was thinking of this, but that's not even stained glass. No, maybe we don't have any, but yeah, no, the stained glass I really, really love. And then obviously the plain door here as well. Uh, which again comes in these sort of more plain colors, just plains, blacks and whites. But then you also have some combinations and all of these swatches sort of match together with, e with each other, which is really, really nice. And I think that's sweet. Oh yeah, so underneath this, which is a new like window awning, we have this window here as well. So there's some really nice windows too, all the same sort of stuff as the doors. Obviously, again, if you don't like this particular style, then you're probably not gonna like any of the windows in the pack. Actually, you know what? You might like this window. This window could be really, really versatile, just this single one by itself because it can just be plain. It actually just looks, you, I probably use this window in a lot of places actually, because some of the, at first glance, you might look at it and be like, oh, look at all these swatches. But then you get to the plain black and the plain white, and this is going to be really, really useful, which is actually really cool. So that's sweet. And then you can obviously pair it with these uh, curved pieces here, or this single curved window that you actually just like flip back and forth, depending on which side you want it on. So that is actually quite useful too. And then pairing that all together with all the plain swatches, you can get a pretty just ordinary looking set of windows there, which is great. And then of course we got this new window awning, which matches all that sort of stuff. Again, nice little accent piece there. And then this taller version of the windows. Again, all the windows have the big plain uh, variants, which by the way, this giant circle window is kind of cool. I don't know if I really like the bottom sections on these. Like it's on both, because we've got these two circle windows. So we've got this large one here, obviously, and then the smaller one here, then this one actually has that section on the bottom with the window too. I'm not sure I'm a big fan of that, just because it means that we can't just have this big circle window somewhere. However, it obviously does pair really nicely, whoops, really nicely with this little balcony. So you could sort of combine these and it sort of sits really, really well on that. So it does go together with the pieces, but I don't know that it'll work well otherwise or how I would even use it. I guess you could use it in like an attic or something, but I don't know, it's really interesting. Then there's also this really big, beautiful window, which I think this is cool. Uh, and again, big plain glass variant on it. And then of course, all the ones that have, you know, look at, look at that stained glass on this thing. I think these are actually really, really cool. But then of course there's some more traditional looking ones uh, and then ones that will match the rest of the set. And then of course, 
the plain black and plain white, which is super useful. Really, really good. I love the new windows and doors in this. I think they're going to be super useful. And continue on in build mode stuff. We have this new fountain, which I guess, I mean, is it? Uh, yeah, it's technically a build mode, uh, but it's obviously just that I speak fountain here that sits in the middle. I actually really like this piece. I could always use another fountain, especially like a really big one because they, they always look really, really cool. Really good for like big mansions or giant houses, you know? And then we have a new, we actually have a couple of new fences. So we got this taller fence here. These are pretty, pretty full on. I don't know, unlike the windows, you can't really, you probably couldn't really use them outside of a specific build design to use this. But having said that, it's still really, really nice. So there's that fence there and then the smaller version, which is over here. Uh, so it's just like the same sort of thing, the same color, kind of color swatches matching between them, which is nice. Uh, and then we also have this uh, bench as well, which I just forgot about sitting next to the fountain. Uh, it's a pretty standard stone bench. I actually don't know that it's really that different from existing ones. Oh, you know what? That, I think that's the only other stone bench, like this plain bench that we have is just this one here. It actually looks re... It, it looks pretty similar to the existing one. But there you go. If you don't have uh, romantic garden stuff, you have a stone bench. Uh, and then we have this new uh, floor tile here, actually. And we'll, we'll have a look at the other floor tiles around the place as well. This one's actually really nice. Do we, do we have one like this in this game yet? No, we don't have any sort of... Uh, in this pattern. I didn't think so because this was this was kind of a pattern that oh, I always used to use in, like Sims 2 and Sims 3 but we've never had it in 4 so there you go. And then obviously with the fence we have a new matching spandrel and a column although columns are bugged out although actually they seem to be working now so that's good I guess. <laughs> we have that column bug which is real fun uh, and then obviously the matching swatches to the fences. And then there's some wallpapers we can see hiding back here. We'll have a look at all the Realm of Magic wallpapers just now as well. I think that the uh, new brick will be quite useful and also uh maybe some of these here but this brick here it's just this one i got the wall here it's really standard uh has a, quite a few dark tones to it and a few little variants that i think will be useful around the place uh so you can see that there and then we've got this one here that comes with the sort of column piece, which I've never really been a big fan of those in Sims 4. Uh, there's quite a few, they don't do them that often anymore. We haven't actually seen one of those for a while, but they have quite a few of them in bricks. If we go in here, like all these ones that have like the, the pole on the edge, because the reason I'm not a fan of it is because it places them automatically. And more often than not, you don't really get a good choice over where they go. Uh, so I'm not a huge fan of that. I mean, it, it looks nice, but I would rather just have this with the, the top and bottom trim uh, or the bottom trim or whatever they put on it. I think it's just the bottom trim rather than the automated corner pieces because it doesn't always place how I want it. And I'm not always a big fan of that. And we also have this new gate uh, which matches the fence. So if you're building, I don't know, Willy Wonka's chocolate factory, this will look pretty good. And actually, <laughs> that's, I don't know, it kind of reminds me of that. I mean, it's a little smaller, it feels like bigger, but it kind of has that whimsical vibe to it, which I guess makes sense because it's Realm of Magic. Uh, and then going around the other side, we have a bunch of curtains. Well, we have three new curtains that will go on these windows quite nicely. So we've got this one here that fits on this giant circle. Uh, it's kind of this curtain that's like pinned up around, which I think looks pretty cool, actually. Uh, so a few different variants there. Then we have one for the larger window over here. And then we also have the smaller one, which will pretty much work on any of the, small, the new smaller windows quite well. Uh, maybe not that one. I don't know about this one. What one would go in there? I don't know. That one's kind of a weird size. But anyway, those are the new curtains. They are all good. Uh, then we've also got a couple of new wall lights here. So we've got this one here, which is more just a traditional looking sconce. Uh, nothing too unusual or crazy there. Just a nice one. They'll probably fit into older style homes. Then we've got this one, which is totally more stylized and a little bit more fun. Something like sort of beetle kind of thing. Wait, what, what is it actually called? A totally lit bug light. So there you go. Uh, kind of fun. I think that's kind of, it's a bit of fun. Uh, definitely going to use that in some more wacky places. And here is one of the other floorings that we have. Actually, ha do we have, I think it's two, is it two floorings? Or we have more, I can't remember. Yeah, the two floorings. So this is obviously a sort of more interior styled flooring. It was like a wooden one. I kind of wish that we had, it comes with these pieces. But the thing is, because it's like, you can see like one tile will be just regular wood. One will have the pattern on it. It'll sort of alternate like that. But I was really, it would have been really nice to just have this by itself or even just this by itself. Uh, or I was hoping that maybe for you, because sometimes if you rotate it, it sort of alternates where you can place them, but it doesn't seem to be the case with this one. Definitely would have been nice to see these separated out. It's kind of the same issue that I have with the automated uh, column kind of things. It's sometimes nicer to just be able to place them where I want to rather than it always being forced there. But having said that, I mean, it's still nice flooring. I think it will look better in moderation than 
doing this giant section of flooring like this. I've sort of just laid it out. The dark one's actually really quite nice. I do like that one. That looks quite good. Uh, and then we also have this new rug here, which is a runner style, which actually is a single piece like this. And then it has the end pieces sort of in it as colored swatches and um, like different middle sections as well. So then you basically uh, mix and match them. However, having said that, uh, you may have already seen it yourself, but uh, yeah, this interior pattern and design there is, I, I mean, did, did no one notice that? Or is that like, is that just having a laugh? You know, like, <laughs> I don't know. I, for one, will not be using that midsection anyway. But yeah, so you just basically combine them, mix and match them with uh, the long uh, piece there and make it as big as you want, really. I don't know. So there's that one there. And then what else do we have? So more of these bricks. Actually, yeah, these, actually, these automated bricks. Well, I said automated. <laughs> automated wallpapers with the columns actually have some pretty fun colors. Like that green and the blue. Well, also kind of why I wish that we could have it without that. I don't know. I'm just not a big fan of those, but it still looks really nice. So there is that. Then we've got this little living room collection. I kind of just put this thing in here randomly. Um, so it's like, this is obviously like a decorative kind of scale just to put around the place. I mean, it doesn't really fit in this particular scene. So I'm just get that out of there. This is actually a little light crystal of the air. Uh, just like, it's like a floating crystal, obviously a little bit magical, a little bit fun. I think it looks really cool, but Again, probably doesn't really fit in this little living room I've got here, but anyway. So we got a new set of uh, two and three seater sofas and the armchair that goes with it. And these obviously all have some really nice swatches as well. Lots of variants. Lots of, like, I'm really loving, and this is something they're consistently doing now, I swear. I swear they just like listened and they're like, okay, everything has to have plain white and plain black because now you could use this piece pretty much anywhere. Uh, it may, you could even be like some modern build and be like, oh, we just got this weird period piece, but it's like white and it like sort of fits in. And that is like true with so many items now. I think almost like every major item that comes in packs, it's been true for this and it's been true for Moschino. I am so happy that they're doing this because I've said it so many times. I know, and, and I know not just me, I know other people have said it too, but the plain whites and plain blacks just make it go with everything. You can put it anywhere. Anyway, having said that, there's obviously a nice selection of other cuttons, cuttons, colors and then colors and patterns and, and variants of them as well. But loving the plain whites and blacks. I'm so happy about that. That is awesome. And even just like the plain wood tones on these as well look really, really nice. Uh, I've made that look awful now. This is one of the other wallpapers here. There's four different wallpapers we have in this pack. There's obviously a more just like interior sort of living room kind of one or wherever you want to use it, obviously. Uh, and then we also have, yeah, the brick one and then we have the automated brick one. And I think there's like a bathroomy tile one as well, which is this guy here. The tiles on the bottom, just paint on the top. Uh, there's quite a few variants on that as well, which is quite nice. Uh, so let's go over to this little magic den that I've created. I sort of just put a bunch of these items together in this room because I thought it looked quite cool. Using the new flooring there, this is kind of like a rug, I guess. It says it's a tapestry. I mean, to me, it certainly looks like stone more than tapestry. Actually, let's move these out of the way so we can actually have a look at it. Uh, so this is actually really cool. I thought this looked sweet. Um, obviously, definitely probably just going to use them in magic builds, but I think it's perfect for this. Really, really cool. Uh, and then we have two different cauldrons. One is cheaper than the other one, Paramount Cauldron. And then we got the Cauldron of Excellency. So I would probably just choose one and put it in the middle and it looks sweet. Um, yeah, so we got these two. Very, very nice. Obviously, you brew potions or mac and cheese. You can make a big vat of mac and cheese. That's pretty cool. And then we have a bunch of new just sort of decorations. Not decorations, the decorative cabinets and, and all that kind of stuff. So we got this new bookcase here. There's this uh, larger bookcase here. Obviously, nice selection of colors as well. Got the plain white, got the plain black, loving it, perfect. And then all the others are a beautiful bonus. Uh, and then over here as well, this is another single bookcase. These ones are tileable, so obviously you can just put them next to each other as many as you want. Uh, again, the same sort of color variants as well. Oh, it's so nice, it's so nice. Uh, and then we have a few of these other just like decorative shelving pieces here. So this one, what is this? Incantation es Escritor. Escritor? I don't know. I probably have said that wrong. Anyway, looks really cool. A bunch of little potions and all that kind of stuff in there. Uh, obviously matches along with the stuff. Then we've got this one over here, which I believe is also just decorative. Yeah. Uh, so that's nice as well. That sort of just adds to the atmosphere and the vibe of it all. We've got this beautiful new fireplace as well. It's got like crystals down the bottom as well. It's kind of kind of got this cool crystal vibe throughout the pack as well. Where they're sort of harnessing the energy of them and all that kind of stuff. So I've also made that black. I uh, got the blacks and the whites, perfect. And then all the other bonuses. Got these new uh, lamps as well, these nice candle ones. And then there's also the one over here, which is, oops. 
this guy here as well. The orb torch as well. So we've got a couple of those guys. Uh, and then we've got this big chandelier. Oh, this big, oh, big. Okay, I keep looking through it. Big chandelier here. This is actually really cool. Oh, okay, goodbye. Hello? Okay, bye. <laughs> what? What? Where did it go? This is actually really cool. I love this. I think this is like the perfect piece. Perfect like accent piece as well. Really, really nicely detailed too. I love this thing here. Black and white as well. Perfect. Oh, so good. And then we've got a new desk here, which has got this glowing light on it for reasons. Um, I mean, it's kind of cool, I guess. But I was hoping that the, one of the, like the swatches just didn't have that sort of floating light orb. Um, but it, they all do. Still playing black, white and black, so, so that's good. Uh, and then this guy here is like a little display case for wands that your sims can have, which is nice, so you can obviously just put that anywhere. And then we've got this new sort of uh, end table. It's not actually an end table, it's a bit taller than an end table, so it's kind of like a nice display table, or, you know, something you can just put your sim, your sim stuff on. It's not like a regular dining table or anything like that, so it's just like a decorative one. Uh, it sort of matches along with this one, but it's just like a taller version. Then moving on to sort of bedroom themed things that we've got over here. I love, I love these things. Actually, you know what? I love a lot of the items in this pack, but specifically these beds, both of them. And this color as well, this sort of emerald kind of green color is so beautiful. I don't know. I really love it. Mixed with that sort of warm wood tone. And this bed here, this bed is sick. Like you change this up and you get like the glass on top. Well, I mean, they all have glass on top, but it's got like the different sort of variants on them. Uh, really, really nice. I think this is sick. I don't know how much I'm going to use it, but I really want to use it is the thing. Like this, this makes me want to do builds just for this bed because it looks so good. And I also really love, uh, I really love this one here too. The sort of single version. I think these look so good. I love it. I think it looks great. And then we got these two different dresses. So we got this taller single tile dresser and then this one over here. Again, obviously all the sort of matching wood tones with all the other stuff as well. Brand new standing mirror too. And then we got a couple of wall art pieces. This is obviously kind of like uh, little, I guess, ingredient posters almost, or just like, I don't know, little magical ingredient posters or whatever, information things. I don't know, they look cool. And then this one over here as well. This one's kind of cool because it has a few different stuff on it. It's got these guys here, and then it actually has like a picture of uh, the magical realm before it was destroyed. Because if you if we actually go to the magical realm now in The Sims, it's kind of all destroyed and broken up. But you can see there's actually a bridge there. It's all green. All those are together. So it's kind of cool. It's almost like a look into the past. And then this flooring here is actually the same wood as uh, over here, but just in a white color. And we also have this rug which has a few different variants to it as well that you can sort of play around with. And this beautiful new little bassinet for the little babies. This is cool. I really like this one. I love that sort of thing on the back there. This is really, really nice. So that's for the babies. Uh, we also have a new little bathroom set, which I think is really, really nice. Uh, it kind of almost seems, I mean it, 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 I mean, it does fit the theme, but it almost, to me, seems like it's a little more extravagant than everything else. Having said that, I mean, this is pretty extravagant, so maybe <laughs> maybe I'm off base. I don't know. I think it's just that like, maybe it's, I'm just seeing the white and the gold, and I'm, make, I'm thinking it's like more extravagant than it is. Anyway, new bathroom set. Uh, this sink is epic. That is so cool. I love that. That's probably my favorite piece out of the bathroom set here. So we've got the new toilet as well uh, right there. Another wall mirror up here as well. And then we've got this sort of new kitchen area over here. So we've got a new dining table, new dining chairs. So we have like a tall chair and a smaller regular chair. Each of these come in the plain whites, plain blacks. Oh, beautiful. And then a lot of different variants as well. And I do love these sort of taller chairs because they can sort of set the heads of the table. And we've got this brand new dining table here, which has a bunch of different colors and, and variants to it as well. And we also have a new bar stool and wow, a new bar because we need more of those. It's funny how many bars we have. It's, it's, it's actually ridiculous. <laughs> Look how many bars we have in the Sims. It's like, Sims, do you want me to become an alcoholic? Because I mean, sorry, a juiceaholic. Sorry. Sorry, let me take that back. Do you want me to become a juiceaholic? because this is how you make me start drinking because man apparently bars are like the best thing ever having said that again very beautiful bar they, they always make really nice looking bars they always look really good so it does look very nice but it's just funny how many we have uh that's there and the new stools that go along with it whoops just put those over there and we have some new kitchen counters and island counters so we got this new counter here and we got the island now these are cool i mean i mean i do like them they're nice uh obviously fit the theme very well however just want to point out in case you didn't notice these are just a recolor of the base game counters which ones recolor of these ones uh right here 
So they have uh, different handles and some more sort of patterns and different color variants on them. But that is what they are. Not that that's a bad thing because obviously they're different enough. That's quite nice. But it's also important to note that they are also the same as the vampire counters, which are here. Hang on, let's uh, move this out of the way. So they are also the same as the vampire counters, uh, which were also a recolor of the same counters. So you can see if you put them all side by side, they're all like identical. They just have the different colors in that. Which again, not necessarily a bad thing, but it's just, um, it's, I mean, it'd be nice to get a new counter. <laughs> you know, like a completely new one? I don't know. But I get it. They, it's a way that they can provide a new design uh, a little bit easier. However, having said that, that means we've sort of got the same counter three times now in the game with just slightly different colors. Like, I don't know. Seems weird. Now, there's a few ways they could do this. So we've got these three items that are actually the same thing, just with new color swatches and variants. And they appear as three different things in the catalog. However, the other way to do it, which I think people were less happy about, was in Island Living with the, this toilet here, for example. They actually added new colors that were only available in Island Living. And I guess it's because... I mean, it's technically the exact same thing. So right here, this one requires Island Living. If you don't have it, you don't have that color. Same with this one. Uh, which is interesting because I think people were quite upset about that. They're like, wait, I have to buy new color swatches for this toilet. Like, why can't you just give it to everyone? But interestingly though, that same issue doesn't seem to be a big deal for people if it's a completely separate item, even though it's the same thing. Uh, I don't know. Let me, like, to be honest, at this point, I'd probably just prefer them to be one counter because they are the same thing. <laughs> I just wanted to point out that there were existing uh, reskins of counters. Not that I'm upset about it or anything. That's fine because they look different. But I mean, I did make like a whole video ranting about a missing island counter a couple of days ago. So I figured we should probably talk about that and point that out. But it does mean we also don't have a matching cabinet for it. I don't know why. So this is the base game one that uh, matches the base game counter. This is the one that matches the vampire counter, which as you know and just saw, they're all the same counter, but they don't, they're not going to have the same colors to match this. Like they don't have the same tones on any of these. And this is something that Kayla, uh, Lil Simsy also pointed out. So it's kind of like, well, we got to do like some of them, obviously you can get to match, but then that means you're kind of shoehorned into using certain colors. Like uh, I was like, I guess that one can kind of match, but like the one we just had before, if we wanted to match like this to one of these, oops, sorry, this one to one of these, there's actually no matching cabinet with the same color, uh, which is a bit of shame. Cause if you're going to recolor the candles, why not recolor the cabinets too? Uh, then at least we have a whole recolored set that's completely new and sort of all matches together. Kind of strange, kind of odd, kind of, uh, I guess disappointing in a way, but you know, Anyway, new counters. Uh, they are nice. They're very nice, though. I do like these. Uh, and then we have this beautiful new stove as well. I actually do really like this. I'm pining for the day that we get a stove that doesn't have the freaking back piece on it, though. But in this case, I think it makes sense because it's an old, a very older, more bespoke styled kind of stove. Also works off the grid, I believe it says here on it, which is good. So they're still updating off the grid stuff, which is handy and has some really fun recolors and, and different variants to it as well. So that's quite nice. And then this fridge is pretty epic. Freaking beautiful, this fridge. I just, I don't know when I'll use this. I mean, I'll use it in my Magic Let's Play for sure. But <laughs> beyond that, I don't know. Super cool though. Like it's super fantasy, like whimsical and magical. It's kind of fun. And then this actually, this wall decoration here is actually really cool. Just a little stick with some, so I guess, herbs or plants hanging off it, which is really, really nice. I actually really like that. Uh, so that's the kitchen stuff. And I think that is kind of it for the build by overview. I think that is everything that we've got. Uh, in this pack. Oh, and this archway, actually. I did actually move this archway out of the way, and I don't think we ever spoke about it. Uh, but there it is. So yeah, that is the build by overview. Actually, really nice set of items. Uh, I am a pretty big fan of them. I guess the only real issue is not having a matching cabinet to the counters, but that's kind of not a new issue. That kind of goes back to the other video. See, see my video from a couple of days ago if you, <laughs> if you want more detail about that. Hey, so there you go. That is built by Overview for Realm of Magic. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I think there's some really nice pieces in here. So, I mean, if this is your style, it's a really nice set of items, I think. I'm actually really pleased with this. I love the bedroom set of items. Uh, I really love all these sort of magical items, all the bookcases and all the shelves. Actually, in this shelf here... Let's go down so the camera doesn't keep jumping around. This one here, we can actually put like little items inside of it as well, which is quite nice. Uh, really nice selection of items, I think. I Yeah, definitely my favorite is the bedroom set. And then some of the windows are really, really beautiful too. But yeah, there you go. That is the Realm of Magic build by Overview. I think it's very nice. <laughs> I give it a very nice out of excellent. Uh, because, I mean, it's a game pack. So, I mean, you know what? It's actually a really good selection of items for a game pack. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I will see you next time, and have an awesome day.